Okay. But went on. Tell the judge where I'm aiming. Looks like the speed is off on them. Um, that the connections got yeah, flashing installed in them, like a clone Pelican case from the Harbor Freight. Controlling it with the PlayStation 4. Wiring is not too pretty, but it works. That harness I got off of a treadmill. We ran an ESP32 Fusion, not Fusion, Fluid NC. <laughs> that PCB board I designed for the dual axis solar tracker. I had some extra boards, so I just broke out some pins and soldered the wires from the uh, treadmill for the harness. The little board back here in the back is converting 24 volts to 12 volts with a 7812. That's a 12 volt fan. This relay works on 3 volts. It's an EMI power plug in. And this fan is 24 volts. It's sucking in air. This one's blowing air out. All the uh, data lines are grounded with shielded cable. The on off switch. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Bump it up to 4,000. All right. Let's see what it does now. Seems like that motor's getting overwhelmed, doesn't it? Y axis. They have the bearings too tight on the Y axis, what I'm thinking. Don't have my screws in there yet. That's uh, about a number seven attempt at a 3D print for mounting that connection. I've got flathead screws in the bottom. I'm, I missed the alignment the first time, or two times actually. Okay, we're ready to cut, actually. I think I'm set on 100, 100 millimeters to travel. 